Hey everyone, my name is Ken Lazuski. I'm the class of 2010, uh, currently the director of annual giving for Canisius High School. For all of you though who can't be with us today, I still wanted to give you a tour of our beautiful campus here. It's a beautiful spring day, and let's start right here. These blue doors, these are iconic. If you go to the Allentown Out Art Festival, you go all over, there's people that just draw art on just these blue doors. These are really symbolic of Canisius High School. And what's cool, especially for the freshmen out there, the incoming freshmen that are watching this, this is really the first thing you get to do is really walk through here. Right when you walk in here, you get this awesome, um, you know, this awesome space here, the foyer of Higgins Hall. This is where uh, you know, some of the students in the morning will come, you know, walk through after they get off the bus and things like that. It really hasn't changed much, but it doesn't need to. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful space. Um, and then I'll take you up here. This is um, the Scotch Auditorium. This is where a lot of the assemblies are. The walkathon kickoff was in here. Uh, this is where the masses are when the school gathers all together. But this right here is kind of cool. This is the uh, alumni hall. All the different classes that we have all here. Um, going back to the beginning all the way to the last class we just had. And uh, before there used to be basketball nets in here and things like that when I went, but not anymore. And this is strictly just used for the play an assembly, mass, and things like that. But again, it is an awesome space for you as a student to have this as your auditorium. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have this as your space. So this is it. This is it. You can see the ceiling. And when this is on at night, you can see the different stars, and that was the pattern of the night they built this, the stars on the, the top of the roof here. It's pretty awesome. So this is uh, awesome. The stained glass windows are new. They were a gift from the classes. Um, this space just got remodeled. It's beautiful. Um, I know in the mornings they have mass around 7.30 um, every morning for students, faculty, whatever. But this is a very common place. It's a very nice space. They did a great job remodeling it and uh, adding some touches to it. All right, so now we are on the Beecher Academic Wing. This is the original uh, academic wing of Canisius High School. So let's go this way here. And then as we walk by, we have our mission statement up. We have um, on that side, and then on this side, we have all the uh, house patron saints. So right now, um, all of our students are put into a house when they start, and they stay with that house um, throughout all four years. And the houses are mixed with all different grade levels. And all our classrooms are fully equipped with um, Apple TVs, the projection system. All our students have iPads so they can project what's on their screen at their desk onto the Apple TV. But again, this is just one example of how Canisius has really embraced technology. And again, our students have had iPads for 10 years now, 10 plus years. All right, so this is the Montante Academic Hall. This is the new uh, way math and science classrooms in here, robotics class. Um, you know, the 3D printing, things like that. And we'll take you in one of the classrooms right over here. Again, this is the newer wing, the Montante wing. And again, this is just a sampling, again, of what kind of the science classrooms look like. The workbenches, the, the tables where students can work on labs and projects together uh, in groups. All the equipment, and again, all Apple TVs and all the classrooms, iPads, everything is uh, adapted to that technology. All right, so now we are going to the library. This is where I spend a lot of time as a student doing uh, homework and, and projects and things like that. But it's changed a lot since I've been here, in the, for a good way here. All new computers here. If we really wanted to give the library a, a more of a college kind of atmosphere in terms of the larger tables, the study um, group, uh, rooms right here, which I'll show you, which are very popular in a lot of the colleges now. Um, these were just recently added this as, as well. I think these are incredible. These are such awesome spaces to do a group project. And again, here, let's go. We're going again. And then again, because of the Apple TVs and all that connectivity, you can put all of their projects right on these big screens and, and work as a group, which is really, really neat. And, and all the online databases can be accessed from the computers. We have our whole um, like my library staff over here that sits here in our IT department in case they have a problem with their technology or things like that, they can get help. But this is an amazing space. Again, it's kind of another thing with this combination, this old school architecture with all these new kind of technological advances. That's something that is so unique to Canisius High School. 
All right, so now we're gonna take you guys into the Kennedy Fieldhouse. This was constructed in 2009. And again, even when you're driving down Delaware, this is an awesome piece of architecture by itself, with the glass and seeing, being able to see in. And this is our trophy case. Um, it extends actually all the way to the right, all here. And Canisius High School has a storied athletic history from football, basketball, baseball, swimming, um, everything, you name it. Um, these are all our athletes' uh, accomplishments right here. And there's probably more, to be honest with you. But it's, uh, it's an incredible run that uh, uh, we have with our athletics. It's amazing, really. So let's go into the gym where the basketball court is and things like that. But before, this is our Athletic Hall of Fame. This was a new, newly installed piece of the uh, Kennedy Field House, highlighting some of the best athletes that Canisius High School ever had uh, go through the blue doors. This is incredible. And I know a lot of the students walk past this and one day probably like to be in there as well. But here it is. This is the complex. Um, during gym classes, they can split it um, and have dodgeball in one, basketball in another. But this is where all the big games are. And again, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous facility. From the outside and obviously on the inside. This is fantastic. So this is our newest acquisition. This is our Center for the Arts building that we bought in 2018. This building right here houses our art, our choir, our music classes, and is top of the notch. If you're into art, music, and all those types of things, this is the place you want to be. So right now we're in the choir room, and the ceiling is made this way on purpose. This is not a camera trick or anything. It's because we wanted the acoustics to be perfect when they're bouncing off the ceiling and the walls. But this is an awesome spot um, if you're, you know, musically inclined or whatever. All right, so this is um, another music uh, space here. And again, the ceilings are made so all the acoustics sound great. And you can see all the different instruments, uh, drums, um, xylophones, guitars. I mean, this is where all the practicing happens right here. So right now we're in the art studio where all our art classes are for our students. Right here you see all the different supplies, or some of them, not all of them, some of them. And at Kanisha's, all the students are required to take at least one art class. Um, and that ranges from painting, uh, basic drawing classes, ceramics, pottery, and things like that. And then if you really show that you have a love for art, that you, even if you're not even necessarily that great at it, but you love it, there's all different classes that we can accommodate for you um, when it comes to the arts. I remember being a student at Kanisha's and seeing Stransky Athletic Complex for the first time and it was just awesome. First thing you see right away is the Kessler Athletic Field, which our football teams, our soccer teams, our lacrosse teams, that's their home field. Uh, you know, a lot of these teams have won Monsignor Martin League championships there, they've won state titles there, and just the energy surrounding that field when they're there for a big game, the St. Joe's vs. Kanisha's game in any of the sports, be it football, soccer, lacrosse, or whatever is going on there. It's just an awesome atmosphere for students, alumni, parents to gather and celebrate Kanisha's rich athletic tradition.